The St. Mary's Gales, the best team in the WCC, will take on the Grand Canyon Lopes, the best team in the WAC. St. Mary's will be the favorite. Can they get it done? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, i got to tell you about a promo we have available at both WagerTalk and SportsMemo.com. Using the promo code JESSE7, you can get any all-access, seven-day, all-sports package for 30 bucks off from any of the great handicappers at either one of those two great sports betting websites. And I sure hope the other guys did better than I did on the first day of the tournament. I was just one in four with my college basketball plays yesterday. Uh, desperately in need of a bounce back here today. Uh, I feel good about it, but I, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to take one of the other guys for a test drive using that promo code. Get yourself 30 bucks off a seven day all sports package. Let's get into this game. We got Grand Canyon uh, taking on St. Mary's in a late game. Uh, St. Mary's will be a five and a half point favorite. The total, uh, 131, a really low number. And uh, one of the reasons I struggled with my premium picks yesterday was uh, I was expecting the scoring to be uh, down, as we saw last year. I did mention 33 of the first 44 games went under the number last year. That trend did not continue into the first day of the tournament. But here's a matchup where uh, the bookmakers and the betters are in full agreement. This should be a low-scoring game. And that has me leaning toward the dog, uh, getting five and a half points in a game that is supposed to be a rock fight. Seems favorable to me. Uh, the Gales, while they did beat uh, Gonzaga two of three meetings this season, they only averaged 63 points in those games. Uh, St. Mary's, one of the slowest paced teams in the country. They ranked 352nd, uh, averaging 65.8 possessions per game and that number is down to 62.9 possessions per game in their last three overall. Uh, Grand Canyon plays a little faster, about average. They rank 117th, averaging 71.7 possessions per game. Uh, St. Mary's though, the best defensive team in the West Coast Conference. Uh, they're only allowing 58.7 points per game. Uh, if St. Mary's has their way here, this will be a rock fight and uh, a low score. One uh, major disadvantage for the Gales, though, is they don't shoot their free throws very well. They're uh, one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the West Coast Conference, only hitting 67.8% from the charity stripe. And Grand Canyon, on the other hand, one of the best in the business with 75.3% uh, free throw shooting in the WAC. Uh, that could be key here in this game. And what I'm actually liking here is I'm liking a team total. I did mention that St. Mary's only scored an average of 63 points in their three games against Gonzaga, even though they won two of the three. Uh, 68 and a half, it seems like a low number, but uh, I think if St. Mary's wins this game, they go under 68 and a half and they hold the lopes to uh, fewer than that. And if they lose this game, they still go under the 68 and a half. I think it's just going to be a, a slow paced game. And uh, St. Mary's is going to play pretty strong defense and not that great on offense, which is their calling card. So we're taking St. Mary's team total under 68 and a half. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, and I wouldn't blame you if it was nasty after yesterday's results, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck, and we'll see you again tomorrow.